Hello, here I'm providing the solutions to the body plot worksheet problem we started in class. You were asked to sketch by hand a system characterized by a complicated transfer function like this. We know transfer function can be divided into similar building blocks. We can find the rules to draw the response of these similar building blocks easily. So the hint here is divide these transfer functions into three smaller building blocks G1, G2, and G3. We know we are interested in the two parts of the transfer function as they indicate the response to sinusoidal input. The first part is the magnitude or the gain or amplitude ratio. These are the three similar building blocks we are having here. Generally, we write the magnitude in decibel format by taking log 10 base first and then time 20, which will make this you know, sketching become much easier. And also, multiplication transfer function becomes addition. Also, we are interested in overall phase shift. It can also be calculated by adding the phases of the three small building blocks. And here is the magnitude in decibel format and the phase angle with unit degree or radians. We know body plot is a very useful way to represent the gain and phase of the system response which undergone sinusoidal input. If we have a sinusoidal input with, with magnitude A and excitation frequency omega, we know the output will be amplified the magnitude of sinusoidal transfer function replaced S by J omega and shifted by angle phi. Now let's review the derivation for the real pole case to find out how we, the gain and the phase shift depends on excitation frequency omega for our building blocks. These are the three building blocks we are looking at in this worksheet problem. So the first two are the real poles as real numbers such as negative 10 or negative 100 makes the denominator become zero. And S plus 1 is called real 0 because real number negative 1 makes the numerator S plus 1 become 0. Let's look at the general case of this real pole problem. Here, omega 0 is the reciprocal of T. It is named brick frequency or corner frequency. For our three cases, we have different time constant. If t is equal to 1, we know the breaking frequency is 1. If t is 0 0.01, breaking frequency will be 100. Now let's derive the magnitude and the phase angle for the general real pole uh, case. The magnitude can be found from sinusoidal trans function replaced S by J omega. J omega over omega 0 plus 1. This term is here. Take magnitude to be equal to numerator magnitude divided by denominator magnitude. And the corresponding and uh, decibel format will be taking logarithm calculation 10 base times 20 of this gain.
and we find this general solution of the gain in decibel format. Let's name it equation number one. The phase can also be found to be the phase of this function and equal to phase angle of the numerator minus phase angle of the denominator, which should be 0 minus tangent of omega over omega 0. Let's call it equation number 2. These are the analytical solutions for magnitude and phase of for the general real pole problem. So let's look at several cases depending on the ratio of the exciting frequency to breaking frequency. Case number one, when exciting frequency say omega is much smaller than the breaking frequency omega naught, the decibel gain asymptote can be found. When we plug in omega over omega 0 is close to 0 to equation number 1, we find the gain will be equal to 0. And also, the phase shift can be found by plugging in omega over omega 0 is equal to 0 to equation number 2. Phase shift is also equal to 0. For case number 2, when the excitation frequency omega is much larger than the breaking frequency omega naught, the magnitude in decibel format, here this term is much higher than 1. We can see the asymptote of the decibel format magnitude is a straight line with slope of negative 20 decibel per decade when plotted against this log omega. And the phase angle in this high frequency case can also be calculated, which is equal to when omega is much larger than omega 0, the phase shift will be negative 90 degree. For case number 3, when excitation frequency is equal to a breaking frequency, we have this decibel format gain can be found by 1 plus omega over omega 0, which is 1 here. And it's equal to negative 3 decibel. That's why the broken frequency, the gain is also called the 3D, 3 dB points. Step. Let's come back to the worksheet problem to sketch the body plot in the paper I generated with MATLAB. The first building block characterized by this transform function, omega naught can be found to be 10 radian per second. We know for low frequency before reaching omega naught, the asymptote will be a straight line with zero decibel as magnitude. After omega naught, every one decade, the magnitude will be dropped by 20 decibel. So we have a straight line, a symptote, which will be like this. At omega naught equal to, at omega naught, we know the magnitude will be negative 3 decibel. 
So based on these two asymptotes and also these 3 dB points, we can sketch approximately the magnitude versus exciting frequency. As for the phase changes over frequency, we also find the characteristic points omega naught for low frequency, especially frequency lower than 0 0.1 omega naught or high frequency, frequency higher than 10 times omega naught. We know the phase shift, lower frequency phase shift is 0, higher frequency negative 90 degree, omega naught negative 45. 5 degree, 3 straight line segments. Then the phase versus excitation frequency can be plotted approximately like this. We can also plot this magnitude and the phase versus the excitation frequency for second building block, which is also a real pole. To save time, I'm not showing here. The third case is more complicated. It is a real zero case. But we know it is the reverse of the real pole problem. So if we reverse the plot we generated for the we, we can generate for the real pole situation, just fleet vertically, we will be able to get it. So let's do it. So omega now here is one. Every one decade frequency change, the magnitude will be increased instead of decreasing. By 20 decibel per decade. This is slope. And also at omega naught, we have positive 3 dB magnitude. Based on these two asymptotes and also the magnitude 3 dB point, we can sketch approximately the magnitude versus excitation frequency in log scale like this. Similar principle also applied to phase angle versus frequency. Low frequency below the 10% of omega na shift is zero. High frequency above 10 times omega na phase shift positive 90 degree in between straight line connected. The phase versus excitation frequency can be sketched approximately like this. So after we find all three cases of the magnitude and the phase angle, we can add them together to find this overall response. Finally, let's compare the hand sketching with plots generated by MATLAB body function. Construct the function. Define the omega range, plot by body function. We can see the plots are the same as we sketched. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.